Good morning, everybody. What's going on? Welcome back to Movie Mornings. I'm your host, Don Martino, and today uh, we are talking about the Oscars. Yes, the winners are in. The ceremony has aired. Uh, if people got to watch the ceremony, just would go... is switching over again because it's dumb and uh you guys know the drill on that uh you guys are going to hear me cut in and out sometimes because my audio's had a mind of its own nothing seems to be going my way tonight but that's okay that's all right don't worry about it uh all right <laughs> now that my uh personal frustrations are out of the way uh my co-host is here to talk about the winners with me uh we're gonna go over what we got right what we got wrong and all that fun stuff so uh sitting here with me is mr jose espinel jose how's it going yeah, it's going good. Um, yeah, like you said, the mic complication, that's going to be a problem, an issue, whatever. We'll just get through it. Yeah, we'll, um, yeah, we'll chuck through it. Well, yeah, I got to watch all of it, and uh, it was really fun, really entertaining. Um, and yeah, I just can't wait to get into into these winners, see how we did with our predictions. Agreed, agreed. Um, and yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. And then uh, let's see here. Okay, so... I'm going to pull up the winner's page, and we're going to go through these and talk about them. So here we go. All right. So uh, maybe we should start from the bottom because best picture is uh, <laughs> that top one right there. All right. So let's start with best visual effects. All right. So uh, the creator was uh, the nominees are the creator Godzilla minus one guardians of the galaxy volume three emission possible dead reckoning part one um, <clears throat> and uh, Napoleon. I think I said uh creator. You said creator with the uh, guardians of the galaxy volume three being the upsets. I said creator with Godzilla minus one being the upset and it actually did go to Godzilla minus one. Um, I think that that uh, was very well deserved. Again, I, as I was saying uh, on the predictions, um, the amount of money that they made that movie for uh, was impressive. And I thought that they might see that and they did luckily. So that is very, very good. Um, all right. So best sound. This was a surprise creator, uh, maestro mission impossible Oppenheimer and zone of interest. Um, I think we both had the creator possibly for that one. Um, I yeah, can't no, we both had, yeah, we both had the creator with, uh, well, I don't know if you had mission impossible. I think I had, uh, I had, no, I had, um, Oppenheimer as the upset. That's right. Yeah. So did I. Yeah. yeah so did I. And, I did uh, not think that zone of interest would have, would have gotten nobody it. Nobody <laughs> was thinking zone of interest, at least not you or I. And, um, yeah, that's the one that took it. So, uh, interesting. Haven't seen the film. Can't speak to whether it deserved it or not. I mean, uh, yeah, the, 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 the sound was good. Do I think it deserved it over some of the other ones? I mean, I mean, I guess. Yeah. It had really good sound. I, 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 I can't, you know, I can't say that it wasn't good sound. It was really good sound. Uh, all those, all those movies had really good sound. Yeah. Um, I feel like any of those could have deserved it, honestly. Um, and at the end of the day, I feel like in, in most of these categories, that, uh, that seems to be the case. Like all of these movies deserve um, to win in any of these categories. Of course. Yeah, of course. Um, because, you know, they're all just, they're the best of the best. So um, I'm not upset that Zone of Interest is one um, sound. It, it did have really good sound. Um, I was actually about to say something, but that's spoilers for you, so I'll just leave it at it. it had really good sound. Oh, and you cut out again. <laughs> I think I'm cutting it out again, so that's yeah, lovely. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, what a great time to um, be doing a show. All right. <laughs> Stacking it on top of the other problem that you had earlier today. No kidding. Uh, we're not even going to get into that. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to watch <laughs> the Oscar ceremony, folks. Not for the most part, and... Uh, I have my reasons for that, um, but yeah. oh, and you cut out again. <laughs> kind of BS. That's all I said. Um, all right. Oh, this is. You keep cutting in and out Poor a lot things. more frequently. Yeah, no though. kidding, because my mic has a mind of its own. There's nothing we could do, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. just... um, category.
Uh, I had, uh, I think I had four things with Oppenheimer upsetting. I think I'm pretty sure. Okay, um, four things. Go to best production design. Not about the award, just this audio issue. This is so stupid. It's just doing it, doing it on its own. Um, all right. So best production design. Uh, the nominees are Barbie, Killers of the Flower Moon, Napoleon, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. Um, and then uh, we both said Barbie on this one. I think we said that the. Uh, The, the poor, I think we did say that Poor Things was the upset and ended up winning, yeah. Which I'm not mad about because the set design for that was also in, phenomenally done, so I'm not mad about that. For American Fiction, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Killers of the Flower Moon. We had predicted here um, that the... I'm pretty sure it was Indy and then Oppenheimer upsetting him, I think. That was for both of us, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we had Indy and then Oppenheimer being yeah. the upset, and Oppenheimer won. Yeah. Uh, so uh, a lot of Which our I'm upsets... I'm not mad at either, honestly. No, I'm not. Uh, a lot of our upsets are getting it. Uh, best original song, uh, we we both called this one, but Fire Inside uh, yeah, from Flaming see. Hot, I'm Just Ken from Barbie, It Never Went Away from American Symphony, uh, Wa Wajashi uh, from Killers of the Flower Moon. Um, let's see... Um, Yeah, I just want to say, I just, yes, I want to say what a performance from both of them. Honestly, it was it was phenomenal. I honestly, I got chills from the first note that came out of Billy's mouth. It was, oh, dude. Honestly, I think I preferred it to her No Time to Die performance. That's how good that was. It was honestly jaw dropping. That performance it really was. That sounds great. Um. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. All right, best makeup and hairstyling, Golda, Maestro, Oppenheimer, uh, Poor Things, and Society of the Snow. I think we both said, you said Society of the Snow uh, with Poor Things being the upset, correct? And I said I Poor Things uh, with, I believe I, I honestly said don't, Maestro I, being the upset. I don't, I don't remember which one I said, if I'm being completely I'm honest. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I mean, if I did say that, again, the upset was the one that won for yeah. me, I think. <clears throat> All right, so I, I know I at least got that one. Best costume design, I think we both called this one. Which I believe we both called. I don't remember what we had as our upset, but congratulations. I think I said things. Barbie, but yeah. Oh yeah, Barbie was our upset. You're right. I think it was for both of us. Uh, best cinematographer, uh, cinematography, uh, El Conda, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. And then the uh, cinematography, which I think we both did call, was going to go to Oppenheimer with Poor Things as the upset. Uh, and uh, Oppenheimer, of course, won. So congratulations to that. Um, I like how I like how the, I like how the category is called best best cinematography yet yeah, it's one person so it is technically a cinematographer right 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 true <laughs> like <laughs> good point yeah i never thought of it that way and the same, and the same thing with with uh, best directing it's a director so i don't yeah. know why they don't just call it best best director like you call you call it best actor best actress best supporting like i don't know why right. you can't call no, it, it it's, best, it's, director, it's, best cinematographer it's, like it's a fair point, and at least we, you know, we all really know what it is for the most part. But yeah, true. Um, yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Uh, best documentary short film: uh, ABC's A Book Banning, uh, Barbara Little Rock Island in Between, Last Repair Shop, and Nine Nine and Wipeout. And I had uh, said uh, Barbara Little Rock with the upset, maybe being Last Repair Shop on this one. And I, I, I said Last Repair Shop, and honestly, didn't give an upset just because I knew that yeah. <laughs> the Last Repair Shop would win because it's just. That's like the one that I just okay. was hearing about. Yeah, and uh, it and did I win. Was, it, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, perfect. The rest of them. All right. Uh, best live action short film. Uh, we had uh, The After, Invincible, Night of Fortune, uh, Red, White, and Blue, and A Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. We both called A Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar yeah. um, uh, with 
nearly no upside, even though I said I may be invincible because yeah. I'd heard some things. Uh, but, yeah, I think we both knew exactly what would win that one. Uh, so we called that. Uh, best animated short film, uh, Letter to a Pig, 95 Senses, Our Uniform, uh, Pachi Derm, uh, War is Over. We actually called Pachi Derm, um, yeah. and I think we had War is Over as an upset on this one, um, but uh, the upset one yeah, we got. Us. I've noticed we got in a lot. I was going to say, we've gotten a lot of upset wins. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> these, for sure. these predictions. For sure. Uh, best international feature film uh, was uh, Al Capitano, Perfect Day, Society of the Snow, Teacher's Lounge, and Zone of Interest. Uh, we said Zone of Interest with Society of the Snow being the upset on that, uh, and we were correct on uh, Zone of Interest. So congratulations to Zone of Interest. Uh, best documentary feature film, uh, we had Bobby Wine, The People's President, uh, Moses uh, Boyo, uh, Christopher Sharp, and John Batesk, uh, The Eternal Memory, Four Daughters, To Kill a Tiger, um, and uh, 20 Days in Mirio Paul. Um, I don't remember. I think uh, we both said uh, Four Daughters on said, this one, and then I said yeah. the upset was probably going to be uh, To Kill a Tiger. I remember that much. Um yeah, I don't, I don't remember what my, I don't know if I gave an upset, but um, now knowing what that movie was about, the one that won, it yeah. makes sense that it won, it won because obviously it's a movie about uh, Russia, you know, invading Ukraine yeah. and doing all that terrible stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's great that, uh, you know, that one, I did remember hearing the director saying that he wished that he didn't make this movie Yeah. because obviously of how, you know, awful and, and the director Mind you, is also from Ukraine. So, the fact that a Ukrainian director directed this movie is yeah. amazing. Um, of course, he did say he wish he didn't make it, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you put it out there to send a message and get people behind you, and and just hope that you know Russia stops and releases all those, you know, uh, civilians that they have kidnapped and stuff. So yeah, I mean, not knowing what the film is about, I'm I'm not surprised. I got to say, I think the biggest shock of the night is this next one. Um, oh. <laughs> best animated feature, Boy um, of the Heron. Not, now, that I, now that I think about it, I don't think it's that much of, an, of a surprise. Yeah, but everybody was saying Spider-Man going in. Like, No, not everyone. I remember I told you, I remember I told you when we did our final predictions, I had a friend who, th you know, who said that Boy and the Heron was going to win. Okay, your one so, friend thought everyone. about that. Your one friend. I mean, come on. Everybody else in the world was thinking Spider-Man was getting this. Uh, boy in the hair. I, I bet you. I bet you. Japan was backing them. Yeah. No. Look, I'm not saying the movie doesn't deserve it. I haven't watched it. I'm. I'm just saying that it's in really general, good. It's it was, really good. Okay. I'm saying in general, this was a surprise for a lot of people. Um, for most people, uh, the boy in the heron, elemental, Nimono, robot dreams, and Spider Man across the Spider Verse. Everybody thought it'd be Spider Man across the Spider Verse, and it was the boy in the heron. Uh, I did have. We did both have had as upset. Heron to be fair, an, we both had upset, it as yeah. upset. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm saying like, but I, I, I thought it was a damn sure deal that Spider Man would get it. So, um. That's right. Asian power for you right there. <laughs> Best writing original screenplay. To me, this one was a surprise. Uh, Anatomy of a Fall. Holdovers. Oh, 100%. Uh, Maestro, May, December, Past Lives. Uh, Anatomy of a Fall won this one. I was hoping it would uh, go to Holdovers. Again, I haven't seen all of Anatomy of a Fall. I did start watching it. Um, or Past Lives. Uh, so, again, those are my predictions. But, uh, no, it, got, it went to Anatomy of a Fall. So, uh, fantastic. Um all right, uh, best writing adapted screenplay. Uh, this feel, one. This was an, another shock too. This was like kind this... of another shock. Yeah. Um, I think we were thinking definitely Oppenheimer or Poor Things, right, for this one, or Barbie even. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. actually we did. Well, yeah, you said Barbie. you said you said depending you said depending on the you know the controversy of whether yeah. or not this was actually an adaptive screenplay, whether it would have actually gone to Barbie. But I mean, yeah, I think American Fiction probably would have been the last one on my mind of winning this. Um, hey, it was a really good movie. I really did enjoy it. It had a good yeah. screenplay. No, for sure. And I really enjoyed the movie. I mean, I'm glad it went to something I, you know, again, I enjoyed all these except for I haven't seen Zone of Interest. Um, but yeah, uh, which is another thing. I'm going to get to that in a second. Uh, but <laughs> all right. Best actress in a supporting role. All right. We have Emily Blunt, Daniel Brooks. America Ferreira, Jodie Foster, and Devine Joy Randolph. I said it was going to go to Devine Joy Randolph, and you were pretty positive it was America Ferreira. Um, but I, did, I did say that Devine, Devine Joy was Randolph the upset, would be right. the upset. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I said it was going to go to Devine Joy Randolph. I was correct on that, uh, with America being my upset. So we had a flip-flop. Man, you should, you should, you need to go watch, go back and watch your speech, man. It's 
Oh, all right, I'll watch it. It got me tearing. It got me. It got me tearing up, bro. It was, yeah. it was probably the best speech out of all the speeches given. Yeah. T- tonight. Oh, yeah. I also need to go to Vegas apparently. Uh, best actor in a supporting role: uh, Sterling K. Brown, Robert De Niro, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Uh, Ryan Gosling and uh, Mark Ruffalo. Um, I think we both we said both we both that. called it yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Um, and then we had. Uh, I, I mean, I I had two upsets. I mean, I was like either either Ryan Gosling or Mark Ruffalo for upsets. Yeah, that's where I was kind of at too. I thought maybe uh, Gosling. That was my upset. Uh, but Robert Downey Jr. did get it. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, Sterling K. Brown uh, is now entering Robert De Niro. So that's history. <laughs> All right. Uh, best actress. That's a that's an inside joke from the earlier prediction show. So make sure you watch that, too. Uh, but best actress in a leading role. Uh, Net Benning, Lily Gladstone, Sandra Huller, uh, Carrie Mulligan and Emma Stone for poor things. I think we both obvious. called this one uh, yeah, with Lily Gladstone one. being the upset. We yeah. said uh, Emma Stone did win. Congratulations. Well deserved. I have no complaints on this. Mm-hmm. one no gripes uh perfect nope. job uh best actor in a leading role i did call it even though uh my the one i was hoping would win did not win uh, i think we, uh, we definitely both called this yeah bradley cooper uh Coleman domingo paul giamatti Kelly murphy and uh jeffrey wright we both said Kelly murphy with giamatti being the upset uh and yeah So, um, yeah, congratulations to Killian Murphy. Um, at, at least Absolutely you got it. Absolutely deserved. So, yeah, 100%. Uh, best actor in a leading role. Uh... Oh, we already just did that one. Acting, uh, Justine Triet, uh, Martin Scorsese, Christopher Nolan, Yorgos Lanthimos, and Jonathan Glazer. We both said Nolan with uh, Yorgos being the upset. We called this yep. one. Christopher Nolan did take the uh, award home. Um Best picture. Last but not least. But uh, American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, uh, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, and Zone of Interest. I said Oppenheimer with Poor Things being the upset. You said Poor Things with Oppenheimer being the upset. Mm-hmm. Um, Oppenheimer took it home. Uh, so congratulations to Oppenheimer. Uh, I just I had a feeling it was going to be no- Uh, so that's that. I mean, I don't know, Jose, did you have any extra thoughts on this? I mean, what other, you know, things can you throw out about this uh, award season? I'll let you uh, take it I away. Mean, uh, besides uh, how shocked I was for some of these uh, categories, uh, really entertaining. Jimmy Kimmel really did um, carry this in terms of hosting. Um, I feel like they should use him a lot more often for hosting because out of all the hosts that I've seen in the Oscars, he's probably been the best. Um Really good performances for the the, the original songs. Um, again, Billie Eilish's was the best. It was so incredibly beautiful. It gave me chills from beginning to end. Uh, Ryan Gosling put <laughs> on one hell of a performance with I'm Just Ken. He literally got people in the audience to sing it with him. Um, I did not know that he had vocals like that live. It, it was very impressive, honestly, for someone who's not known as a singer. Um I did not know Becky G was the one who sang the song from um, Flaming Hot. She did really good as well. Um, really good performance. The one I had, I had forgotten what the uh, Killers of the Fly Moon sounded like. So to, to hear that one again was really cool. Um, the one from American Symphony was also, they, they were all just really good performances, honestly. And uh, another highlight too, I'd say, was the was Andrea, um, Andrea Bocelli coming out and singing that um, opera song you know, doing the mem- memoriam for all the actors, actresses, and everyone else involved in like film and singing who, you know, we've lost. Obviously they put on um, Carl Weathers, rest in peace, my guy. Um, that was a recent one, but uh, yeah, honestly, yeah, overall and all the, you know, all the actors and actresses, they got to come and uh, announce the winners were really cool. You know, you had people like John Cena, Bad Bunny. Um, you had Al Pacino. John, um, yeah, John Cena come out and do one fully naked with the envelope over his, you know, what's so that was pretty funny, honestly. Um, yeah, I mean, was it the best Oscars? Yeah, I mean, it was good. Uh, I think my highlights were the performances, like the actual song performances. Um, I liked how they actually did all of the songs that were nominated, that was something kind of fresh to see. Um, so overall, I did enjoy the Oscars. Uh, felt a lot shorter than normal, but I mean, again, I guess they, that's just how they wanted to do it. 
But yeah, overall, I, I enjoyed it, and I honestly just can't wait for next Oscars because I think we all know what's going to sweep there. Yeah, it's gonna be the everything everywhere all at once of 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 that Oscars. Yep. Um, Do but yeah, yeah, yes, honestly, yes, just sir. yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, I would, I would honestly wouldn't be surprised if it got nominated for everything except for the categories that obviously can't be nominated for. Yeah, I really wouldn't be. I would really wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. No, for sure. Uh, so I didn't get to watch the ceremony, guys, um, uh, which I'll, I'll kind of touch on now for a little bit. I got to watch some of it, luckily. Uh, thank you, Jose, for hooking that up. We're not going to talk about how, but <laughs> we did get to watch it. Uh, I did get to watch uh, some of it, the latter half, I suppose. Um, yeah, I, I want to address this because I think that this is a big issue. I, I, I'm not going to oh, go yeah, on the huge rant. Issue. I'm not going to go on the rant I did earlier because I was just pissed the hell off. And I, I think I had every right to be, and I'm going to be very generous oh, here. No, I'm sure. going to give a very generous version here of this because I know what's going to happen tomorrow. We're going to open up the headlines and it's going to say viewership low for the Oscars. Yeah, no, for sure. I used to have sympathy for this. I really did. Back when everybody had cable television and it wasn't like ridiculously expensive to get um, back then, I had sympathy for that. Like I really did because I do think that this is an important award show. I think it's important to have these awards. It celebrates movies every year. It's like my favorite thing every year is the Oscars. It's the one reason I would tune in to actual, actually watch ABC every year. Honestly, I have no other reason honestly, to same. have cable yeah. other than the Oscars. And I think a lot of film fans feel the same right now. And I went through five different apps. <laughs> Excuse me. I went through five different apps. Soon, hey. Thank you to try to find the Oscars and I couldn't pull it up. And then finally, when I went to go do my YouTube TV free trial, um, they tried to charge me 80 bucks anyway to watch this. Um, and, and I couldn't get the ceremony and, and that's the basics of it. Why in the hell would I pay 80 bucks just for this one award ceremony when I can get on YouTube and watch the game awards for free, when you can get on Netflix now and watch, um, uh, the SAG awards, uh, so on, so forth. I think even Peacock, there's. There's what? Sorry. Right, which is another big event every year that you'd watch TV for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My point. Maybe it's not Peacock, but I know you don't have to pay eighty well, bucks now, to watch. Now, it. now, well, now, 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 Netflix is going to be streaming uh, live boxing matches because uh, they just recently did a deal with uh, Jake Paul's fight with uh, Mike Tyson and they're going to be streaming that on Netflix right. live. Right. So right. <laughs> big events, yeah, like is <laughs> Yeah. And in a world But then again, those are street those those are streaming services. ABC is more of like a cable owned by who? kind of thing. Owned by who? Who owns ABC? Is that not Disney? Yeah, it is Disney. You know what Disney has? True. A streaming service. You know, true, true. Y y y do you understand more people have Disney Plus than have actual cable? And the so this is my true. point. And Disney airs live the announcements for the nominations, right? On their service. Why can't I watch the Oscars on their service? It makes no sense. There's no reason to keep airing this on cable. I have if I see that headline again, that stupid headline, viewership is down. I'm going to have no sympathy. Yeah, for no, them honestly, anymore. Neither. Because there's no reason they can't just put this on Disney Plus every year live. There's no or reason. Or at least or or at least Hulu, because that's what like ABC and Hulu were like kind of because that's what it was supposed to be on. It was supposed to be on Hulu and ABC, but then you go on Hulu and it wasn't even there. Like, I couldn't even find it on Hulu today. What's going on? Ridiculous. Um I, I mean, I'm not saying it wasn't on Hulu definitively. I'm saying it was super hard to find if it was. True. And, and so my point is, it's ridiculous. And and nobody wants to pay 80 bucks just to watch this one thing every year. Nobody. And so if you're going to complain about it, I have no sympathy anymore. There is no reason that this should not be broadcast on your streaming service. You could do it live. We've, we had the technology. We're in 2024. Um, film fans do not have cable. I, I'm telling you right now, most of them don't. Like, not cinephiles like we are. They don't have cable, and this is a big celebration every year. And I'm not against having the broadcast. I think you should have the broadcast. But I promise you, the viewership will be high if you put it on your streaming service. So don't complain about how the viewership is low. I have no sympathy anymore. I'm done with that um, for this one. And 
again, I'm trying to be generous this time around, and, and trust me, Jose heard my bad rant earlier, and I think I am being very generous <laughs> this time around. You know you are. You are. Um, because it, I, I'm just saying, like, this is not... It, it's dumb. You know what I mean? It's dumb. It, it's 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 incompetence is what it is to me. Like, it really is. Like, to, to sit there and complain every year about your viewership being low for the Oscars and, oh, I know what we got to do. We got to change things up. We got to add a new category. We got to take a category away. We got to announce the... Why are you they trying to do this? Just put it on your streaming service and people will watch it. The reason nobody's watching this is because nobody can find it. It's because nobody has cable anymore. We're not pilgrims. We we have streaming services. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's it's this is well, out of hand. Speak for yourself, but yeah, no. The, the, I'm not the, saying the nobody majority, has cable. Yeah, Some people yeah. have cable, and that's great for them. I'm I'm just saying that you know not everybody has cable. I have Sling TV. It doesn't even provide ABC. Um, so you, you know what I'm saying? Like ABC should be available yeah, no, for sure. everywhere. And then you go to the ABC app, which I think would be a hundred percent acceptable. If you could just go to the, even the ABC app and watch it, that's a hundred percent acceptable to me. The problem with that is you go to the ABC app and you go to watch it and ask for your streaming pro or your cable provider, which again goes back into not everybody has, uh, because again, we're not pilgrims. We live in the 21st century. <laughs> You know, uh, 21st century, 22nd century, it's 21st century. Yeah, 21st, 21st century. 21st, yeah. 21st century. So, again, we, we're we up to date. We're, we're, you're trying to create a world where streaming exists, and that's all, but yet you're not utilizing it to the best of its ability to air your biggest event of the year, or what's supposed to be your biggest event of the year. And it's not lately been yeah, the, the best event of the year because of where you air it. Like, it makes no sense. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like uh, the Oscars are trying to stay old school, yet we're just so far from that. It's crazy. Uh, again, here's another one. Zone of interest, right? Mm -hmm. um, why is that right now $20 to rent at this yes, juncture? That's absolutely crazy. Like... And and then and then I know the other thing that they're going to complain about not right away but I know we're going to get another article this year about how piracy is out of hand. Well, exhibit A. Uh, right. Zone of interest is exhibit A. <laughs> Moves like this, zone of interest that you you want everybody to watch. You want zone of interest to be a zone of interest. <laughs> it can't be a zone of interest when you're not airing it even, on a streaming service even even perfect days which was another one of the ones nominated for best international uh, feature is only is six dollars to rent All which right. is so much better compared to zone of interest yeah. that's 20 and um and, and, then, and then society of the snow which was another nominated is free because it's on netflix right and i i i, I, I do free because you have to have you have to have netflix I understand this isn't an apples to apples thing because a lot of this is depending on the studio that puts Zone of Interest out. You know, I understand that. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not blaming the Oscars for this or something like that. So don't get me the wrong way. Um, oh but, wait, it's it's by A24, so it's on Apple TV for twenty bucks. So blame them. Right. So there you go. Um, which makes no sense either for A24 to do because. They have the HBO deal right now, where their library is supposed right. to be going to HBO. Why aren't? Why isn't this one on Max? It makes no sense. True. Um, if it's an A twenty four, it should be on Max. Or excuse me, it shouldn't be twenty bucks to rent. The movie's been out for a little while now, since last year. I mean, and and at this point, like if you're gonna put it out there for people to see, and it's an issue, and 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 that's that's the other thing, and it goes back. But this also again goes back into the viewership issue because they want people to view it, but people can't find the movies to watch them. They're getting better about it. Sure. I won't lie to you. They're getting better about that aspect of it. But I can't go to my local theater and find these movies. You know what I mean? I can't even travel an hour away and find these movies in the theater. <laughs> that's sad. You know, I'm not saying that's the case for everybody again. But uh, my my point is, is like, it, you want people to tune into your thing, you know, start making the deals to get these. That's another thing Disney Plus can do is work harder. You know, let's put Zone of Interest on Hulu. You know what I mean? Um, let's see if they'll mm -hmm. do a limited run on Hulu with it. Um, and then maybe uh, people can watch it on Hulu. And I know they're trying to get better about this aspect. And I, I appreciate that. Because uh, I, I have been able to see most of the movies um, late, as of late. And it's been great. Uh, but I'm saying like, 
Uh, but that's been another issue year after year. It's like, I would have loved to have watched Zone of Interest. It's like, I'm not paying 20 bucks to rent it when, especially when I hear from most people, it's the worst of the nominees <laughs> this year, you know? Um, but I still want to see it, you know what I mean? Um, I still would like to see it before the ceremony, and, um, and that's another thing. Like, I don't know that people feel caught up, you know, by the time the ceremony airs, and right. they, they're probably like, okay, I'm just going to be behind um you know i can't really have much say in it or whatever because i haven't seen all the movies and it's it, it just again it's it's a constant issue that i'm just i'm getting tired of and i i i know how much hard work goes into these um productions for the oscars and 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 how much uh time uh you know the actors are taking out of their day to come you know and do this and, and, the, and, and, the, the, whole, and the crew the whole rest of the crew as well crew, too. Yeah. yeah the crew let's not forget them is, is putting into it to make sure the show runs smooth and we don't have another la la land incident you know i i understand that you know it's it's work i get it uh and and it's like but you're not letting this work really be seen now granted like i can get on hulu tomorrow and watch it i know that and it's going to be free to watch um which is another thing like why would we watch it live when it's going to be free the next day on a streaming service that we're paying for already um and that sucks to me that sucks because it is a lot of people's hard work that's not being seen and and a lot of people that need to make sure it's it's the oscars is a constant it looks um how do you put this it looks like lights camera action up front you know what i mean like it looks like it's running smooth um on the stage but you don't you know when you think about what goes on behind the scenes at an oscars broadcast it's probably nuts it's chaotic and we don't get to see that and again i mean the talent shows up because they put their work in throughout the year to try to uh make sure their work was seen and then that's part a like i said so part one uh let the talent's work be seen you know what i mean by people before the oscars especially in a world where you're trying to push streaming 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 and we're not doing it uh, secondly, let us celebrate, let everybody celebrate, uh, the work that's, you know, being seen and, or the work uh, that everybody's trying to get seen and, and advertise by the way, cause the Oscars is a commercial for these movies essentially. And, and if we can't even watch the broadcast, like it's like, nobody's going to want to watch these movies. And, um, I, I, I fear that a lot of these movies, it used to be that Oscar nominees, uh, were memorable throughout time. And I'm, I fear that's going to go away with, um, not being able to see this broadcast every year, you know, um, for everybody, and it's not as accessible okay, for that's, everybody. That, that's that's not, that, that that's not gonna be the case for Dune Two. the exception. <laughs> thank, no, thank for, goodness. Sure, for sure, I get it, and and I'm saying, yeah, it it it's a thing of um, just they're not adapting, man, and and it's like it, the reason that the Oscars feels outdated to people is because you're not you're not making it an event anymore. You're just putting it on ABC. It's coming Sunday night. I even forgot the thing was coming out this weekend or coming on this weekend because of well, how little did. of how little they have eventized it, you know? And and if they advertised it hmm. and Disney Plus, tune in, you know, uh, for members only, you know, you get to have this one event. You're still making money, you know what I mean? Uh mm -hmm. you have your people are paying for the service, the streaming service and and you own ABC. Put it out there. Um, and then there's a part three to this. Um, uh, can you imagine that the Acolyte trailer was coming out with this tonight? Tune into Which the Oscars that, to that, see that, the yeah, Acolyte. Yeah. If you're yeah, going to... Been... Yeah. Ooh. If you're going to charge people 80 bucks, make give them a reason to tune in for 80 bucks. You know what I mean? Like... And start using this platform the way the Super Bowl does with commercials, you know, and and, and you and advertise your stuff. Disney has yeah, I'm not you. some of the biggest IP I'm out there. The, 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 the Oscars, the tr the commercials were literally all the same mm -hmm. at every single break. Made it boring, dull. I honestly, when I went to commercial break, I just muted that thing and I just went and did something else and yeah. kept my head and like just I stayed here like with the Oscars still open up, but on my phone. You know, kind of just looking up every every so often just to make sure that I'm not missing the Oscars. But I would just mute the thing because it was the same boring commercials over and over and over. There, were, there was literally no movie trailer, no trailers at all for anything. It was literally just the same boring commercials every single time. And that's yeah. where you just lose people, honestly. <clears throat> and I even get the it. ones, even the ones who have, even even the ones who have cable and watched the the show tonight, you, you probably lost a, a lot of people just. From just playing the same commercials over and over again every time you went to commercial break, you probably did. I won't lie. 
For sure. And, and I mean, I'll even add the caveat of like, I understand that, you know, when you tune into movie mornings here that we're having audio issues and things are happening that aren't making the show great. And I apologize for that. But at least I'm trying to have integrity about it, you know, and trying to be and at, like least we're, at least we're, at least we're not. At least we're not charging eighty dollars for people to see us either. Right, you get right on YouTube and you watch it. You know the Game Awards again. The Game right. Awards. It's 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 the Oscars for gaming. You can just jump on YouTube and watch it for free. Anybody can see it. There's no reason that this thing needs to be this like exclusive club. You know what I mean? You want people to watch these movies, and and we've talked about on the show many times that we're starting to evolve, and people want to see these movies that are telling real stories and, you know, are original, and, and the audiences are craving these movies. Um, but you have to, you have to make it accessible, man. It, this is, it's out of hand, I feel like. And I know that there's going to be an oh, no, article 100%. tomorrow about how bad the viewership was. I know there was. Mm. Yep. And again, the, my sympathy is going to be very, very low when they, they are like doing, they're, they're not making the ceremony accessible enough. Um, it is like, I, I, I could go, <laughs> I, I'll go knock on my next door neighbor's door and I can tell them, hey, did you see the Oscars? And they'll be like, the Oscars was on? I guarantee it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I could, yeah, honestly. Yeah, I 100% guarantee it. And they're probably going to say, well, I haven't seen an Oscars in years. And that's because. Of how how not accessible they have been, and uh, I I know I sound like an old man screaming at a cloud right about now. I get that, but at the same time, like I mean, I I, I can't I can't be the only one that feels this way, you know. And I actually, to be honest with you, I felt like every year it's been kind of a struggle to get, like, to try to find a place where I can watch it. You know, I've had to sign up for free trials at different things every single year and all this other stuff. And I feel like I've had to go through that year after year after year. And, and it's not fair. And then the other thing is, like, let's say I did get one of these. Like, let's say I paid the 80 for YouTube TV, right? I suck it up. I paid the 80 bucks. Um, here's Jose and I trying to, you know, have a watch party together. And because we're at different parts of the world, I guarantee our stream wouldn't have even matched up. <laughs> like I guarantee we would have been sitting there trying to sync it like we did that one year. Yeah. <laughs> and that's another thing. Like they don't have integrity for they're not eventizing this. They're not. You know what I mean? Jose yeah. and I can't get together on Zoom and watch like we would a wrestling match if we were to do that or something. You know, it's it's not the same thing and it's it, it's getting out of hand. Well, it's you, ridiculous. You, 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 you... You might struggle there too because okay, WWE, you need, you, need, you need cable to watch because it's on USA and um, Fox. So you need cable for both of those. Yeah, fair. But the, you only, know one that you'd, the, the only thing, the only thing you'd, you would be able to watch from WWE would be on Peacock, which is their pay per views like yeah. WrestleMania, Elimination Chamber, Hell in a Cell, those Fine. things. Fine. But I'm saying this is an award ceremony, though. Why is it a pay per view? Why are they treating this like a pay per view? It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. It's a broadcast. I mean, it's a live broadcast that you're you're supposed to be. You want advertisement, and then you're bitching about you the see, viewership. That's, you see, that's, exactly. That's the difference too between WWE and I'll use WWE here because I'll praise WWE to the day I die. Um, the they're, difference they're between niche WWE and, and it's niche content. And that's the, Oscar, the difference. Yeah, you, you say you say, well, you say it's niche content, but they still have a humongous audience because mm -hmm. um, they do they do wrestling events all over the world. Right, um, and they have integrity is, for their the audience. Yeah. And their, and their viewerships for all their big pay-per-views yeah. compared to the Oscars, at least of recent times, have been so much higher than the Oscars have been, I think, in the past, I don't know, maybe like five years or so. Yeah. Um, the difference between WWE and the Oscars is that at least with the pay-per-view events of the WWE, um, they are pay-per-views, but they don't charge extra when you go on Peacock to watch it. Yeah. You just have to have the streaming service and boom, you can watch every single pay-per-view event that WWE has. Yeah. Whereas now the Oscars is trying to charge people eighty fucking dollars to watch a ceremony that happens once a year that is supposed to bring in all these film film lovers and and enthusiasts to watch it. Like, yeah. come on now, yeah. WWE WWE has a, a pay per view event every month. Yeah, and doesn't charge extra for them. And you're trying to tell me that once a year for the Oscars you're trying to charge people eighty dollars to watch your biggest award show ever, unless you have cable. Right. What? <laughs> it's it's absolutely ridiculous. Right. And again, I, I'm saying this as a fan of the ceremony, as somebody who finds a ceremony to be incredibly no, no, same, important. Yeah. 
and th that's why I'm so passionate about this is because it is important. Just knowing that Al Pacino announced the best picture makes me think I'm going to watch Godfather oh, yeah. tonight again because, like, I want to. <laughs> I, like, I love movies, man. I love the ceremony. It's such an important ceremony to have. It makes me want to go back and watch some of my favorite movies just knowing that the Oscars was on today, you know, and, and that's 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 how big of a deal it is to me. And I'm saying this as somebody who's passionate and as a fan and and just somebody who cares. I really, really do care. And I think a lot of the people that put the work in care. I mean, Jimmy Kimmel cares. <laughs> you could tell like they they keep getting him back as the host because he's so damn good at it. And um, his jokes were absolutely hilarious throughout the entire he, show. He's I'm been stellar he, every year. Crazy. And I think that needs to be yeah. shared with the world. You know, I mean, he's he's been so good. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I think that again, it's just, it's not what it used to be. And that worries me. It really does because these movies used to get advertised and I hear this every year from somebody, why aren't my favorite movies being nominated? Well, these might be your favorite movies if you watched them, but you're not watching them because they're not being marketed because the Oscars is no longer accessible. It's a whole thing. Yeah, th th It's a whole this thing. Is, this is how crazy it is. Yeah. This is how crazy it is. I looked up, I, I just went online and, and. And found this stat. The last time that the Oscars had 40 million plus viewers for an Oscars was in 2014. Yeah. 10 years has been, and they haven't had 40 million plus viewers. Yeah. You know how ridiculous that is? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's absolutely crazy. You need, y'all need to just shape up honestly yeah it, this is absolutely ridiculous yeah and i know people in our field that are a lot less generous than i am and are just saying kill it but that's not what i'm saying I'm, i want people to see it i want it to keep <laughs> happening i want it to be a, a growing thing and then like something that uh everybody a lot of people get back together for i remember the first time we did this over zoom i had like six people on here watching the oscars and and, and it's just it's gotten people cared less and less every year um because because again i just think it's the accessibility of it it's just non-existent anymore and um yeah it just it used to be a lot more fun and every year it's like oh the oscars is on okay it's, it's gonna be a struggle to try to get it on my tv uh that's where i've been at and like i mean i'm excited it's on and i'm it's one of my favorite days of the year again and i'm gonna watch it tomorrow i'll watch the ceremony front to back tomorrow on hulu um because i do love it that much and and i want to and then last year when i had to sacrifice the oscars for the last of us finale um i still watched the oscars on hulu the very next day um i made sure that that i got to see it and and i'm so happy that we had the ceremony yeah, I, think, me, I think i think but, i did it the other way around mm, i'm grateful i truly am grateful that the ceremony is still going and, and and alive and kicking to some degree despite the lack of viewership but we need to get it together and and there needs to be a change and and i wanted to make sure i brought this up but uh again man um I, i'm happy that we get to celebrate oppenheimer it truly was a, a cinematic achievement um so so i mean I'm, I'm glad it won as much as it did um i'm glad emma stone getting her second win tonight man i mean that's that's awesome you know what i mean she's a, she's a brilliant actress and, and she deserves every bit of that killian murphy getting his first win and his first real big lead role i mean i i don't think he's ever been on a poster you know <laughs> front and center like this um and, and the first time he does no, it he no, man, sure man gets an oscar he's a brilliant actor and he deserves it and as much as i want paul giamatti to win it i'm still like i'm proud of killian for winning it like he he really is one of our finest guys out there right now i watched batman begins like two weeks ago and he's such a damn good scarecrow man i'm like i, I see why nolan was building this guy to be his lead at one point in time and and then that's the big one is christopher nolan's been grinded for years and finally gets that recognition and it's amazing it really is he deserves this it, it was he did a damn good job on this film this is this is peak uh christopher nolan in oppenheimer and then the fact that he got his best director and his best picture under his belt tonight is a huge deal um hey yeah nolan's awesome uh so uh, yeah it deserves every bit of it man um sure. the the work that was put into american fiction i'm glad that got recognized in the screenplay category again and and um everybody else honestly everybody else that won i mean it, it it's it really is just one it's one of the best celebrations every year for uh people who do what we do or are in our field or just love movies as much as we do is this is a big deal and and i do care i'm not complaining of somebody who doesn't care and I'm, I'm very very happy for everybody that won i genuinely am and i i'm gonna watch the godfather tonight i think i said that already but i'm mentioning it again because it's just i don't know something about celebrating film 
makes me want to do that. Um, just go back and see that tremendous film that inspired so many others after it. Um, man, this this was, uh, again, uh, the, as far as the winners go, I'm sad I couldn't watch the ceremony, but as far as the winners go, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, I'll check the ceremony out tomorrow uh, so I could see all the hard work that was put in. Um, obviously, I want to see in a better quality uh, Ryan Gosling perform. I'm just Ken. I mean, I know that that was... And, and from what I did get to see of it, I mean, it's super adorable that he was singing it behind Margot Robbie and she was cracking up. I mean, I, I did love that and just, yeah, what an awesome moment um, for sure. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That's all I really got on this. I mean, it's going to be a shorter show today. We were just going over the winners. and uh, But I do appreciate everybody for tuning in and, and hearing my rants and ramblings. Uh but yeah, this week will be back to normal. Hopefully, I'm gonna get a new freaking cord for this mic. I'm telling you right now, we need to make that happen because this <laughs> audio stuff is out of hand. Um, so yeah, guys, I wanted to know uh, for y all y'all out there, uh, did your predictions win? Uh, what do you think uh, should have won that didn't win? Um, definitely let us know in the comments below. Uh, that's always much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, so Jose, uh, where can people find you? Yeah. So you can find me on Instagram at Jose Espino five, all lowercase all together and on kick and YouTube at, uh, Latino spicy King. All right, you guys can find me on Twitter at Dom underscore Martino underscore and on Instagram, Dom underscore Martino underscore official. And you guys can follow the Extract Media pages on Twitter and Instagram at Extract Media Blog or X on Instagram. Uh, and then uh, before we get out of here, if you like what you saw here today, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave some feedback in the comment section, share us with your friends, hit the bell for notifications. It's always much appreciated. Uh, once again, I'm Dom Martino, and that's been Jose Espinel, and we will talk to you guys later. Peace.